Hi, uh, welcome to Tech Guruji channel. And if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe for more Mule for videos. And in today's video, we'll be seeing how to deploy a Mule application using a uh, Mule Maven plugin. So in the previous video, we have covered how to deploy uh, the Mule application from AnyPoint Studio. So now we are going to see how do we deploy a Mule application through using Mule Maven plugin. So as part of that, so we do have few prerequisites to you. So one is um, to add the respective uh, respective rec repositories as well as the plugins as described here. And the other part will be uh, configuring the other parameters like what is the mule version environment which we are going to deploy in any point platform in which region we want to deploy the application the worker size the type and other parameters uh, needs to be configured as part of form.xml and here we are not going to use username and password so uh, take an example where uh, there is a DevOps operation or a CD, CI CD pipeline is going to be set up. Um, so imagine you have an application where you're going to deploy your application through CI CD pipeline and you cannot configure a individual username and password. So in that case, we do have something called as connected apps. So using connected apps, um, we can uh, generate a client ID and client secret for like connected developers for the external parties and other related stuff so we'll be covering those details as well in this video so it will be a generalized client ID and client secrets which get uh, generated and instead of this as I said instead of this username and password we are going to use connected app and these are the parameters which we are going to configure so let's get into the video so as first up we do need a client id and client secret so we are going to generate that using a uh, connected app so to access connected app but to configure that we need to navigate through access management so in access management we do have something called as connected app so if you can see, I have already configured a DevOps. Um, for DevOps related stuff, so I have created a client ID and client secret. And so now what I'm going to do is to create a new um, credentials for, for example, for this demo purpose, I'm just giving us a demo. So in real time, uh, you can give it as a CACD pipeline, so wherever it is being used and so here as next step it asks for the type so so for, for more details about this I'll ha I have added a link to the description on more detail about this so we can go through it so this next step is add the scopes scopes in the sense like it is like giving an access for example if you generate this client agent client secret so with the client agent client secret what are the operations that particular uh, user or particular uh, organization or a team who is going to use that have access to so as of now we are going to deploy the application so i'm just going to give all the uh, access related to runtime manager uh, for example, we can take this demo as uh, example for a CI CD pipeline. So in an automation stuff because doing that activity, we may need to delete the application, create, download and other related stuff. So as of now, I'm going to give all access related to runtime. So so once that is done, I'm going to queue next. Uh, I have just given, um, so here we need to select which business group. Uh, a organization can have uh, many sub business groups and business groups. So as this account is for a demo purpose, I have just created a business group called as own. And I'm going to give it access to a sandbox. 
so in real time scenarios you may have something like dev sit uit next test or other related things so so we can review this what are the permissions you are given and finally I have added a scope here so once I click the save button so in the demo you can have the client ID and client secret so you can copy this client ID and client secret which is going to be used in our AnyPoint studio so as first step what I'm going to do is uh, add few properties as I earlier mentioned about the plugin and the repository plugin repository to our pom.xml so for that I have uh, taken a project which we have seen in the last demo and we do have a few videos related to this how to design RAML and how to import that to any point studio and then how to deploy it to the cloud up from any point studio so I'm just using the same project so here the main thing which we are going to do is make changes to our pom.xml so as first step you can see we do need to add this um, Maven plugin to the project so what I'm going to do is so we do already have the Maven plugin as true and this refers to the version which is mentioned here so as per the release notes if you see 3.4.0 is the latest version and there has been few uh, issues has been that has been fixed as part of this so what I'm going to do is like so as you can see there were like few issues like username password was not said that we get some proxy error and other to avoid these things I'm just going to use 3.4.0 version so it is going to be 3.4.0 so this step is done then we are going to add the plugin repositories so they do have something called as mule public repository so under this I'm just going to add this plugin repository okay so the pre request has been done now and there are other options too for example when you run this uh, or build an application in the development you may need to skip this plugin execution so there are a few options when you enable the skip as true so you can do that and for example when you want to configure or if you want to add your libraries along with the process of build so these are the options which we are going to do and in this video I'm just going to uh, concentrate more on the first steps to deploy application to Maven plugin so as per the prerequisite, request we have configured this part so let's go to the previous link so the other few things are like HTTP port which we normally configure and it, we need to declare the external class and resources like what are the for example if we do have something under resources folder like libraries or the properties file and other later stuff so those details can be add, added in the mule artifact.json so moving to the next part we are going to add this plugin to our pom.xml So if we can see here, so we have added up to this particular part. So I'm just going to add only the configuration part as part of this. And as I had earlier said, we are not going to use the username and password. So username and password do work and it's a normal way of doing it so I'm going to authorize this deployment using the connected app as I earlier said so so these are the three parameters which we do need to configure for this so and 
and then what kind of type is going to be so as it is already mentioned the design center developer access code uh, which refers to this link so you can have a look at these things so as of now I just, I'm just going to externalize the values in the property file so so for connected app I'm going to give CA CA dot client ID then we can give it a ca dot and secret and ca dot grant type so i'm going to configure these values in the properties file and i'll show you how it looks like so what I have done here is I removed the region and the workers. So these are not the mandatory fields which is required. And what I have done is I have added the object store V2, uh, whether it is uh, required or not, whether I'm going to use persistent, Q, and other related values. So, so these are the extra values which have extra parameters which I have added. And you can always see these values. Um, what are the, I mean the configuration parameters in the link and you can see here as a reference what are the fields like worker worker type and what are their default values and other related stuff so i also add a, a reference to this link in the description so let's move on to deployment now so this client id and client secret so which uh, i have got it from here i i'll just copy and paste that so uh, next step will be running this application and see that gets deployed in runtime manager so here we have configured this particular part and next step is to run our project using these maven command so there are two options which we can do so one is changing our configuration while running this application or uh, the other thing is to execute this command through the command prompt so here what i'm going to do is run through the command prompt so what are we going to do here is so uh, we're going to execute this deploy command so this deploy command will be uh, configured for example uh, if you're going to use a cd pipeline then it will be configured as part of your j scripts so here what happening is so it has successfully uh, gone through the authentication part so now it is trying to deploy the artifact and creating an application so so this will give you a notification as well so once your application is successfully deployed so what we can do is meantime go to the runtime manager and check whether the application has started now so it has not started yet so let's wait for a few more seconds for the application to get deployed and then gets reflected into the runtime manager so now if you can see checking if application has started so it has successfully deployed the application so if we see here in the runtime manager you can see the application is in the deploying state so so what happens here is the command it checks whether the application started as well once it's deploying it to the any point platform runtime so once it has been started it gives a status as well so still it is in the deployment state Let's wait for a few more seconds. 
So now you can see that a build has been success. That is, uh, the application has been deployed to CloudUp through Mule Maven plugin successfully. So in this video, we have uh, configured using the connected app client ID and client secret. Instead of that, we can use uh, username and password as well. And additionally, we can add the other shared libraries as well. Thanks for watching. And if you want me to do some videos on Mule 4, any, sp on any specific topics, please comment below. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Until then, cheers, bye.